Welcome everyone to HFN today, October the 16th, 2019. Here to update you all on our Cardano forecast from October 13th, 2019. Before I get started in that, I always want to remind each and every one of you, if you appreciate our videos, hit that subscribe button, like and share our content, join us on Twitter, join us on Facebook because we're the only place that you're going to get this simplistic form of forecasting for the cryptocurrency space as well as in stocks, commodities and Forex. So those three areas that I've just mentioned join this community. OK, so now here we are today, the 16th of October. And look what happened in the market for Cardano. Now we have a Cardano playlist on this platform. Go back and check out our video on October 13th. We told you one thing to be on the lookout for in Cardano. And it was 0 0.042. I told you if the market is not able to break 0 0.042 to the upside to expect this weakness in the market. And as a matter of fact, on the 15th of October, once the market in Cardano broke this ascending line, you already knew that the market is not going to move higher okay so in that video we had uh, 0 0.042 as a tp price you guys can tell that the market came up there and touched it one more time and that would have given us what 0.45 percent profit okay right before the market came and took a dump and fell off okay so Let's get rid of that. And now we're going to talk about what is the expectations into the market in Cardano going forward. I originally pinpointed four cents to be support in Cardano because if it maintained price at four cents right here, that the market will continue to move higher in price. Okay. So you can tell that's not going to happen. So you already know the expectations. Don't expect a bull move to occur in Cardano. I don't care what anybody says about this particular cryptocurrency. This market is not there yet. OK, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of this ascending line because the market broke that to the downside. All of those things translates into Cardano consolidating and moving lower in price for the moment. OK, consolidation is going to be four cents at the resistance area. All the way back down here towards three and a half cents okay zooming in real close on a three-hour chart this market is going to try to hold that particular area right here for support 0 0.038 right now that's what we're getting okay strength definitely came into the market in Cardano on that last completed three-hour bar four-hour chart same thing okay for our chart is showing you that 0 0.039 is resistance so we could play this one on a small time frame not the daily and you could have this for a tp of about one and three quarters percent okay you could do that but for us we're going to play this on a daily time frame and that definitely gives you a lot of weakness now Yesterday, the market closed below four cents. OK, I'm not expecting the market in Cardano to move higher until we see a break above four cents going forward. So this this forecast in Cardano is merely just consolidational trading. Four cents is resistance all the way back down here towards 0 0.036. OK. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a price range just for that. OK. So we're going to look for the market in Cardano to trade within this box that I've just drawn. Okay. 
at least maybe for the next two days. So that's it. I'm not really seeing a lot of things going on into the market in Cardano. We have got confirmation twice at 0.042 of resistance and then we crashed through support at four cents. All of those things are confirming that Cardano is still weak. Best thing we're going to get right now, everyone, is consolidation. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Questions, comments, let us know with a comment in the comment section of this video. And in the meantime, make sure you always maintain your profitability. And I will see you all on the next one.